Harper's Homestead. We are uh, we're here at the outdoor kitchen again. The last video you saw, we put in the cooler and the, some of the cabinetry, and we ran out of wood. Well, we've got some wood now. We're gonna put a, a door on the front of this with a little barrel latch. Should be a pretty easy project. Three of these fence boards is gonna fit exactly in that spot, and that was not intended. Sometimes you just get lucky. So what I did was I split another fence board and I'm going to use it to frame out my door. So down here you can see that there's a space here. Well my plan is for the door to shut and have one of the boards shut there. I'll put the barrel latch. So up here you can see I cut these to allow enough space for down there. So I'm going to fasten these two boards. Then I'm going to do a diagonal board for support. It should be good to go. Okay, I got these boards put down. Um, fortunately, the screw heads, I mean the tips, are poking through, which I didn't anticipate. I thought I had short enough screws, but I'll just take my grinder and grind those off so they're not sharp. But let's see if it fits before we get the other brace on. Let's see if we're going to be happy or not. Hmm. Looks like we're not. You see this 2x4 down here? Like a dingling, I didn't account for that. And I put this all the way at the bottom. So I'm gonna have to move this board up some so it'll fit. All right, so I lowered it back to where it should be instead of having it out flush with the end. And let's see if it fits now. Beautiful. All right, so I finished the door, put the angle brace on it, ready to put the hinges on right now. We're gonna throw some of these on and Hopefully, it opens and closes appropriately. Okay, so we're getting ready to mount the door, mount, put the hinges on, and we don't want it to scrape when we open it, so I'm going to put a drill bit under it, try to hold it up off the ground a little bit while we uh, put the hinges on. And hopefully, that'll help give it plenty of clearance. Okay, I got the hinges mounted. The door seems to open and close wonderfully. It doesn't snag up or catch. So, I'm pleased with that. Let's go ahead and put the barrel latch on and see how that works. Okay, most of you probably know what a barrel latch is, but I'm going to go ahead and explain it in case there's somebody watching that doesn't. Barrel latch is one of these. I'm sure you've seen one before. It goes over and latches and you can unlock it. Lock it's very easy to mount and it works pretty well. So, especially for something like this. Okay, we're finished with the door. That's it for the day. I just want to show you guys the barrel latches on. Nicely, I can get to the plumbing if I need to. Uh, I got my cooler right here for ice. Over here, it kind of seems like wasted space right now because there's nothing here. I just threw some paneling up to cover it for now, but eventually we're going to put a little tiny uh, cooler here, a refrigerator here. It's about 12 by 12. I found one online that'll fit. Uh, so that'll be another video. Um, we're going to be doing little projects like this, trying to get the place up and running. And, uh, we're going to put some chickens out there and some gardens over here and some stuff over there. And we're going to be building some swings and zip lines and all kind of fun stuff. So we'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please uh, subscribe and send us some comments and try to keep them nice. Thank you. Bye.